Hey guys, I've had a lot of people having issues with joining voice and sharing screens and just navigating Discord in general, so I wanted to do a video on that. So, in Discord, I have a full screen here. The very top button is your home button. Uh, this gives you access to your friends list so you can see who's online on all uh, pending invites, who you blocked. Um, then there's direct messages. So any chats you've had directly with people are pretty much saved here until you kill the conversation. So underneath the home button, you have a whole bunch of um, actual channels that, well, I do. <laughs> you may not. You may only have one or two. But these are channels that, that I belong to. So here's my friend's uh, channel. And inside each channel is uh, a list of rooms. So this is my Discord. And here's the list of rooms. And you can click on each room and just see what the room is about. Uh, and you can also go into chats. So this is a chat room uh, of text. And then there's voice channels also. And you can also directly call people. So to give someone a call, uh, you can go to like the channel and then you can go over on the right and you can find a person. You can right click and call them or you can uh, select them up here. See, Coda just sent me a message. So he's underneath the server. So direct messages go underneath the home and there'll be a little line and then there's all, all the servers you belong to. So if I click Coda's name, and I ring him you'll get this up here and he'll answer and hello Coda <laughs> so in order to share screens um, you can select this little share screen button and it, the first screen that pops up you have applications and screens so if you want to share a specific application like let's say maybe you want to uh, uh, show blender by itself if you do that it's only going to allow you to show blender so if you open up any windows uh outside of blender itself then it's not going to show those it's only going to show blender but if you want to show everything you can go to screens and share screen one and then go live and it'll pop up like this and then code is code is able to view the screen and i don't know if this or uh if OBS recorded that little bleep, but that was him joining the uh, stream. So you can click this up here and, or mouse over it and full screen it. And it gives me a crazy thing because I'm looking at my own screen. And then to get out of it, you can go here and re-click that. If there's multiple people sharing, you mind uh, sharing, Coda? So when somebody shares, you'll hear an, um, a noise saying, that, well, it doesn't say anything, it just a, it's a noise. And that noise means he shared his screens. So now I can click up here, and it'll give me a bunch of different windows. So that's mine, because there's a little G there. This is CODIS. So if I click CODIS, it'll pop up there, and it's small. And then I can click this here, and click the little drop down here, and it'll full screen it. And Coda's got a huge wide screen, so it looks weird. <laughs> and he's working on my house. How nice. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, nobody else has access to that video yet except the Patreons. So to get out of this, right? Good reason to join Patreon. So to get out of this, you can uh, just hit the exit full screen. And to stop viewing his screen, you can uh, click the little stop watching here. And I don't think that's the only place. Yeah. So up here you can, if if you're just like this, it's the buttons disappear. So if you mouse back up there, they pop up again, and I can stop watching Coda. And it asks how the screen goes. You can just click off of there. And then if I want to stop sharing my screen, I can click down here where it says screens and stop streaming, or I can mouse up here and just click this and stop streaming. But we're still in the voice call, and he's also still sharing because you can see it up there. And then you can click the other buttons too. And just, uh, so if it looks like that and you can't see anybody sharing their screens, you just have to click and it'll open up the three little windows. Um, to turn the volume down on somebody, you can mouse over their, 
uh, picture and just right click and it'll give you a menu you can turn them up or down uh, and you can just click off of there to get rid of that and then we also do you know live classes in my discord so to get to my discord you just go over and you find it on the server list and you click it and then if you want to join the voice channel you just scroll down and find the voice channel and usually there'll be a whole bunch of us in there uh Koto, i'm going to join uh my goon class if you want to jump in there with me so so when i click that it just jumps in and i cut Koto off because i'm rude <laughs> And then he joins. I'm sorry, Code. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> so here, you can also share screens. And you do that by going down at the bottom here. And if I click screens, and I can do the same thing, application or screen. Typically, if, if uh, I'm going to have you share screens, I'm going to want you to do this. And choose whichever screen you're working on. So screen one, go live. And then that pops up this little window. And you'll hear people join uh, with an with the audible noise. And to join it yourself, uh, can you share screens, please, Coda? So if somebody else is sharing, you'll see lives. And so you can click mine and you can watch my stream or you can click Coda's and it'll pop up a little button. You just say watch stream and it pulls up a full window like this. And then you can also full screen it and do the drop down. Uh, if you do the up you get the list down here so you can just change screens at will um, yeah <laughs> and then to get out of that like I said you just exit full screen and then you can stop watching here or you can yeah I think you have to go in here and stop watching and that'll pop that back up and you can choose whatever you want to look at in the window we also while we're in this class um, you can mouse over the goon class name and go to the little open chat and discord's added this brand new feature where you can chat in in the voice channel uh, i don't typically like this because it covers half the screen but right above the the voice channels i have a chat channel so you can just join goons class while you're in there and it'll pop up a little window here and you can pop this out uh by hitting Actually, let me look at code so I can actually pop it out. And then if I go to this, there's a pop-out window. So you can pop it out and then move it uh, move it wherever you want it, like over on the other screen or whatever. And then to hang up, again, it's just the stop watching button. I think I need to see I even get lost yeah I can close this and I'm still in the chat channel and to disconnect from the chat you can go down here to little voice and hit disconnect uh, you can also uh, mute yourself where's the mute button down here you can mute and deafen and a lot of times if voice and uh, audio aren't working you can click the little cog wheel down here and go to voice and video and you can check what input and output device discord's using there's also uh, push to talk and you can set up a key and I think that's about all I need to show you guys for now hopefully that helps a lot of you that's been having trouble with uh, discord I appreciate your help Ericota if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. And by all means, join our Discord. It'll be in the uh, description below. And I will see you in the next one.